Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting the Auron one too, to be honest. I have watched all of them um, on YouTube. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all. <sighs> Thank you. I'd be pretty mad at him. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's fun to be with. I kind of would have liked them to go a bit more into the whole Waka thing there. Like, Lulu offer a bit more of a perspective of well, why Waka is the way he is and that kind of thing. I do think it's very yeah. essential to his development as a character. Yeah, the, like, the whole, she's just another see the racism to towards the Albed and how that changes over time. And how apologetic Waka's he becomes and he recognizes the error of his ways. I, I think that's all important. Or, you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother Chaku. Oh, there you go. So he's yeah, the weapon, I think right? it it kind of just goes a bit and beyond that though. Got killed by sin. Killed by my old man. Damn you, Jack. What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become sin ever? I can't say that I know, but why? Just a thought. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Uh, so no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. <laughs> you run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. Yeah. I love that perspective from him. Just like that outside of you on all the bullshit going on around Yevon and, and Spira. What if Oren spilled all the beans at the beginning of the pilgrimage? It would have been a very different pilgrimage, that's for sure. Okay, so we have... Um, we... Oh, I forget, did we do the cloister before Seymour or after? I think it's after, right? We fight Seymour and then... No. We will see. Would a Vanifor only run when possible be a decent challenge? Eh, I don't know, not really. I, I'm not too interested in, in summon only stuff. You can't even teach summons abilities for so long. And stuff like that, so I don't know. I'm not hugely excited by that prospect. But we'll see. There's just oh. there's so many challenges you could do. Not welcome in this hallowed place. I'm sure I'll come up with something. She is a guardian. Uh, and I'll bed a guardian? Preposterous. Preposterous. I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. And that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. <laughs> Very well. Or in this section, man. What a legend. Right. So he gives you something, right? Ah, oh, Lady Yuna's... Thanks to you. you yeah, have we, we don't need to listen to that. But we'll take that. Thank you. Okay. I'm probably not even going to use Riku, but hey, at least she has that, I guess. So, let's have a look. We're definitely doing much better in terms of like ability spheres and stuff. We have enough to to not need to farm them. Early on, it was a little bit of a struggle to make sure we had enough. Yeah, I'm still making my way down to like that final little pocket of um, of stats. How much is here? Three points. Okay. But look at Lulu go. All of the HP and, and even the strength. It's doing well. 23 strength. That's pretty good. 
It's almost as much as Kumari. And more MP for Titus is always welcome now that he's a, he's a prodigy mage. 152. Getting closer to be, being able to use three flares. How do you think you are level wise to a normal playthrough? I would say probably similar. I mean, I tend to not run from any encounters when I play anyway. And so I'd say this is probably par for the course. Obviously, stats wise, things will look different because. Um, because of the randomizer, but in terms of how far along the sphere grid I've come, probably similar. I think overall as a party, probably a bit more because um, I haven't had to swap characters as much, so everyone's been able to make progress, so I think overall as a team I think we're a little bit ahead of schedule here, but you know, I think that's just, it's for entertainment purposes, I think that's better than just um, than the alternative for now. <laughs> Lulu can take down a bear with her bare hands. Yeah, Tynus and Lulu are having somewhat of a like a swapped experience here. Titus is uh, is becoming a pretty strong mage, and Lulu has quite a lot of strength and HP. Like, look at Lulu's HP. Does she have the most? Yeah, Lulu officially has the most HP of anyone at the moment. Ah, there you are. Imagine having Did Trommel and Shalinda within like Yuna. 15 feet of each other. Now victims of yeah. Imagine that. Nah, it's complicated. Nah. Say, um, do you know where Yuna is? I believe. Yeah, Seymour's music gave him gave him away trials. from the start. <laughs> Mr. Seymour. Yeah, I generally agree. Like they, I think Seymour could have been portrayed a little bit more positively, because then the whole like the marriage proposal and stuff. I think you could tell it was uh, there was. It just, obviously, there was something behind it. didn't seem that genuine. See, it all seemed a bit sinister. Um, I think if they kind of tried to sell him as truly being a nice, like, good guy from the start, then you might even be like, you know, okay, I can really see why this might be a thing. And then it becomes even more of a shocking revelation that that, uh, that he killed Jiskel. So, yeah, I agree. In a remake, that's one thing they could explore a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like a problem I had with the game, but if you're looking for things to potentially tweak a bit in a, in a future remake, maybe that could be something. Uh, for people playing it for the first time, I think thinking that Seymour's a better guy than he is up until this point, I think that might be, um, that might be a good call. A sphere in Lady Yuna's belongings. Tweak his hair first. No, no. Make his hair even crazier. I think that'd be fine. This may well answer a few questions. But yeah, agreed. His hair also kind of sells the, the antagonistic look. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Quado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed, even to me, a maester of Yevon. But yeah, you're right, Rule. Um, but I can feel flames of darkness <laughs> you do see that hair in his say heart. He's probably an antagonist. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon. Killed by my own son. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this... I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop, my son. Yeah, take care of Seymour, he says. See you later, Grey Jade. Happy birthday Wonderful. once again. Thank you for joining us. Will Yuna be all right? <laughs> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester. <laughs> uh, fine. Stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. 
Yeah, Lulu kind of realized obviously what's going on. She's doing her best to say what she needs to say to Wonka to just keep him, keep him going basically. Did Jisco film this before death knowing he was going to be murdered or is this all post death? I mean, he says, I will s leave this world soon killed by my own son. It sounds like he knew what was going to happen, um, but he, he didn't want to, he couldn't do anything to prevent it, I think. Hey, Princess Magical, good to see you. Thanks for hanging out with us in the stream. Can we pet the cat? Oh, wow, the cat just got angry and left. That's kind of the opposite of the effect I wanted, but wow. Yeah, so in a future remake, we need to be able to pet the cat. Fine. So, me once again for a saving. Cast flare on the cat. <laughs> that is mean. Hooray for Maester Seymour's wedding! To be fair, cats probably have like 255 agility and do some like triple swipe thing and kill you before you can cast flare. Okay, the same stuff that we had previously, right. Oh, I hear Lady Yune. I wonder if that means she... Just like Lady Unileska and Lord Zayar. So, let's think. I think, was it Lulu who had... Yeah, because they, they can throw like Shremides and stuff. I think they can be slowed potentially. The TKO doesn't work on them. I think we had a little chat about this um, preemptively before the session started. I'm pretty sure you can't uh, petrify with Stone Touch the Guado guards. So we'll have to see what we can do about them. Yeah, we've got very little elemental protection here. So we'll see how it goes. This one could be potentially quite interesting. Kimari's got very low HP. Mm. Who do we start with? Um. Hmm. Yeah, we do have stuff like Shell as well. So we'll try to make use of our abilities here and see how we do. But this could be a this could be a challenging fight here because some of the usual tools that we have at our disposal we don't have them anymore because of the randomizer. So we'll see. <laughs> Vel will hear about this. But obviously, you know how it is. This is why I generally don't tend to stream games, because it's the kind of thing where I'm obviously thinking out loud about the future, and then people in the Come chat who know what they're Go. doing will pretty much give away Fight. what you need to do. And so it takes away a lot of the whole, like, we will protect you now. strategizing From and anywhere. thinking on the fly kind of stuff. Even and that's, that's what I love to do with these games. So that's why you won't see me um, this can't be happening. live streaming too many if he is games truly at other than Five Fantasy Ten. Must be done. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we Please have the we silent. have the talk command as well. Lady I kind of forgot Yuna about that. To the faith. Make me. Hey, MGX, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Titus is a bit of a brat in this scene. <laughs> Make me. Sphere. You killed him. What of it? I do like this track. Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? That's a nice point. Kimari is the I only one with his came... weapon drawn right now. I came to stop you. I see. 
You came to punish me then. See, th those kind of lines from Seymour, you came to punish me then, stuff. so good. So well delivered. What a pity. <laughs> ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The code of the guardian. How admirable. Well, well. If you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too. All right. Maester Seymour! <laughs> Stupid Walker. So be it. Hey, Cotillionaire, welcome to the stream. Glad you could pop in. As great as this game and this part of it is, don't get fired from work for, for tuning in. Okay, so let's see. I would like to start with... I think after he talks to Seymour, his strength will go up enough that it'll be, be pretty good anyway. And he's got a lot of HP, so we kind of need him for his, uh, his tank ability, I guess. Now, it may be better to swap in... Oren has a lot of strength, so maybe I'll go with him. Oh yeah, I don't know if they're immune to death or not. <laughs> I'm going to give this a go, actually. So yeah, you've got all of your usual strats like Shooting Star and this and the other, or why bother doing anything silly like that when you can just cast death? Come on, guys. <laughs> what a gangster, this guy, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, we don't need any cheap... Uh, any of the usual tricks here. This is the randomizer run. This is how we do things in the randomizer. I'm giving him an ether. He deserves an ether for that. Would be funny if it works on Seymour. It really would be, honestly. You never know. Uh, let's do it again. <laughs> Counter attack this, cast death. Yeah, I don't think death will work on Seymour. I'm pretty sure it won't, but... Um, let's just get everyone prepped a little bit here. Although pain is obviously coming, so that could be a problem. But let's just um, prepare ourselves here. You may be a maester, but I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Legendary VA moments. No way it works on anima. I mean, you're not supposed to have death at this point, so it, it, anything can happen. Just uh, just have to wait and see. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Seymour! Seymour. Um... Let's have Waka talk as well. I forgot what, what even happens with Waka when he speaks. Is it strength or is it magic Maester, defense? We must stop this. Ah, this can't be happening. Seymour just doesn't reply. Magic defense goes up. Okay. Um. Let's let's take his lunch money too while we're here. Why not? Um, what I will do is I will haste up. And then I'm going to swap in Auron instead of Yuna, I think. Wow, even with the magic defense boost, he still took a lot of damage. But um, Yeah, I think because of pain, they're going to probably die anyway. But let's just get these buffs ready. 749, that's good damage. 627, not bad. He's been slow too. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that CTB. Sheesh. 
Okay. Feel my pain. Come, anima. Yeah, I mean, the first time this happened, I definitely shit bricks because this is a big deal. Like, you see what anima can do uh, in Luca, and then to have it summoned against you, I was like, shit. <laughs> See Martin for his mummy. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of it like that before, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> Yuna, the new Aeon. No, we're oh, we're, faith, lend me strength. we're not going to summon here. We're going to see how we do without it. So this could make things more problematic, but I'm going to go with a shooting star here, set things off, some big damage. 3,200, okay. A solid start. I do kind of want to try... Uh, actually, we got used, but still nothing, right? Lightning Marble. <laughs> I'm going to save it. Maybe there's some niche scenario where we need some uh, lightning protection. But yeah, if Eject worked, that would have been very funny. Demi, maybe. That's a good shout. I think the next time um, Auron gets a turn... Try it. Is this the first Seymour attempt? Yes, it is. Okay. What we will do, Yuna should be hasted, so she'll revive Titus pretty fast. And she's still got MP left over for another haste score or two, so that's fine. Hmm. I am kind of curious about Demi. Let's just give it a go. It did work. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I wonder what happens when you do boost plus Demi. That's interesting. Okay, so boost is coming next. So what happens? Does it do more damage? 3072. It definitely did more damage. Wow. That's crazy. There you go. Yeah, White Mage using Phoenix down. That's true. To be honest, I think I would have anyway. It's it's quicker CTB wise than using Life. So you you take all the little bits of CTB that you can get. Almost done. Um. Yep. There we go. Job done. Why did Demi do more? Because uh, it was in boost. That power that defeated Anima, it will be mine. So I forget. It's either like fifty percent or double damage. I forget what happens. But look at the CTB here. Because <laughs> these guys are hasted up. Pretty brutal. Doesn't have a chance. It's game over. Oh, I think. Does he get one turn? Yeah, he sh he'll get one turn. But I think we'll be fine. Oof. Maybe with a critical, he doesn't get a turn? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Didn't even get a turn in the next form. Sheesh. There it is. Yeah, those. Uh, we, we knew. We knew which way it was going once those deaths hit at the very start. <laughs> yeah. Even his his uh, his mum couldn't help him through this one. Yuna, you would pity me now. Time for Pillars are Us, yes indeed. <laughs> hey Dippin, or Dippin, not sure how you pronounce it, but thank you, glad you could join us. Overly dramatic death pose, agreed. Lord Seymour. Imagine if the timing of this was different. Maybe things could have looked, looked different here. What, what 
What have I done? All you have to do is just hide him in the Wait chamber minute, of the faith. Fault at all. And Seymour struck first. He's the bad guy. No one would go there for a while. I don't think Trommel would ever allow himself in there. So <laughs> Yuna, send him. No, stop! Just listen to Oren. Stay away from him, traitors. <laughs> The trauma, the trauma hate is real in the community. Traitors! We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. Mm-hmm. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. Interesting. Not a single weapon. I think he can drop some pretty useful weapons, but we didn't get a single one there. It's a bit lame. But we did get Shiva. I actually feel sorry for Seymour. Imagine being the only half-human, half-guardo in all of Spira and being told by your own mother to commit suicide just so people can accept you. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of nuts. His story is very tragic from that perspective. Unfortunately, like many a villain, he does have some serious trauma and tragedy in his story that sets him on a path. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if Trommel took a, a bit longer to, to come in, just hide Seymour uh, inside the Chamber of the Faith, and no one's going to find him for a while. I don't think summoners are coming by, like, constantly and making it to the Chamber of the Faith. So they won't even know. We'll be long gone by then. We'll be in Xanakant. <laughs> the stay away from him traitors lights up there was stay away from the summoner. The stay away from the summoner just too just too iconic. It's just <laughs> Right. Yeah, this one always cracks me up because it's just like first of all, you can see the glow of the destruction sphere thing, so you can see they're gonna get destroyed. But the second is the way that he just does a backflip to come back to this bit and I'm like if you can already just backflip here just keep jumping forwards and just skip it don't do all this shit but then it's like well I guess not everyone in the party can do that and they have to leave together and blah 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 but this bit was always a bit silly for me like you're just about to make it and he's like no I'm just gonna like backflip my way break. out of it what? <laughs> like look at this it's like okay you can just jump across I mean, Lulu made the jump onto uh, the ship to fight a Blitzerator. She's got hops. We, we just don't see it. They could have just made it across. Anyway. Luigi, welcome to the stream. Yes, Seymour is gone. Uh, it was made a lot easier by the fact that Auron had death, so we took out the Guardians. They don't have death immunity, apparently. Um, and so with that... Uh, we managed to get rid of those guys, and Anima was not immune to gravity damage, so... Uh, she took big damage from um, stuff like Demi. But, and in boost, she took even more damage. So, yeah. This is one of my less uh, favorite trials, honestly. Never been too much of a fan. Like, the environment looks pretty cool. I did like the environment, but the whole, like, sliding the, the pedestal around and... Then, if you want to get the destruction sphere, I think you have to kind of break something and then fix it again. It was a bit annoying. But... Yeah, I think, um, yeah, the first time I did it, I definitely was a lot of backwards and forwards. Might still be. It's one of those I still get wrong quite frequently. But we'll see. Corey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Glad you're enjoying the channel. You basically have to do the whole thing twice to get... It. Yeah, the, the destruction sphere part of it, I think, is what annoys me. It's a purple chest, right? Honestly, I might just skip it. But we're not... I'm trying to not use purple spheres in this run anyway. So I basically... And well, I don't really need anima. So I might just kind of ignore it. Yeah, it's a Lux Sphere. Yeah, honestly, 
I might kind of leave it. Wait, I think I put that in the wrong bit. Let me get that back. Yeah, exactly. The dis the destruction sphere, I think, is what makes this one annoying. Aren't you going to do post game? I th I think yeah, I could. Uh, we have to get there first. We'll see how we're feeling. It's going to take a while yet to even make it to the post game. So once we do, then we'll kind of see how everyone's feeling and how we want to proceed, and we'll go from there. I think it definitely could be a fun post game because of obviously the randomizer like coming more into effect once we fight genuinely difficult stuff. And we'll see if maybe there's some other restrictions we can throw on or things we can do to make it more interesting. So, yeah, I'd like to continue, but uh, we'll see how it's going. But when I say do the post game, I don't mean it from a completionist point of view. I mean it more from like um, just like doing extra battles. So it's not going to turn into a, like a, oh, let's get all the destruction spheres so we can get anima and stuff like that. I don't think it's, it's that necessary. So. Yeah, what do you guys think? Shall I shall I skip the destruction sphere here because I'm not going to use it, and I don't. It's not a complete guide thing, or you want me to mess around in the cloister and try to get the destruction too? Wow, three for th th three, 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 four, three, four, four, five, four. <laughs> It's basically 50-50. <laughs> okay, I think more people are saying get it, so fine. It's not you guys that have to do it, I guess, so... Easy to say. So, let's do it. I could mess this up, I don't remember. Yeah, there's definitely not much point to it, but it gives us a bit of uh, chill time here. If people wanted me to skip it, it's too late. You were basically outvoted. So now it was... We bring it like down. And then we have to kind of do this whole thing. This one was worse than Bevel. I don't think so. I think for me, Bevel's always been the worst. I guess obviously the benefit of the Bevel one is the whole destruction sphere, you can't miss it, but um, just, the, just the mechanics of the whole arrows and trying to time it and then flying off the end when you don't get the, the arrow right. And it's one of those I never, I never really remembered how to do it. As you can see with a lot of these, even if I feel like I've kind of forgotten what to do, there's enough of a general memory here where I'm just kind of not thinking about it and just doing it. But with the Bevel one, it's always just like... I'm always just going in the wrong direction, and it's I don't remember the step-by-step the -step process of how to do that. So I've always found Pavel worse, personally. Could always save edit it in. No, people want to see me suffer. That's that's always one of the, the things about these types of channels. So here I am, grinding through the cloister for you guys. It wasn't too bad. Thankfully, uh, so far at least, uh, I haven't done anything wrong. So. The Xanakin Trial ones is kind of interesting, I guess. I don't hate it, but I don't really love it either. So now, what did we do again? This This was the point where it's like, I think thing is at the top right and then we have to bring it back is it here basically we kind of have to catch the sphere again or something yeah princess magical you might be one of the only people indeed who loves if you if you truly love all of them including Bevel, then yes you're in i think you're in a pretty small group of people So I think with this we complete them again, right? It wasn't too bad. Oh no, I am missing one. Shit. Where was the last... Oh wait, no. Yeah, okay, so now we have to... I remember now. So we still have to do one more little bit of 
grind work here. Let me just have a look. Yeah, we have to push it down there. Okay. one more little bit to do here. I dislike the time puzzles of Final Fantasy XIII 2 more than these. The time puzzles of Final Fantasy XIII 2 were some of the most atrocious. Like, I think it's the only time in my life I've ever damaged a controller. Those, those puzzles just drove me insane. And again, I kind of refused to look up like what you're supposed to do or how to do them or something. Oh man, like, those puzzles were horrible. Like the hardest ones or whatever drove me nuts. You find Bevel's cloister the best. Now you're just now you're just messing with us. Now now you're just trolling. Bevel the best cloister. Now there's a hot take. We do we do hot take segments on the modcast sometimes. There's a hot take. <laughs> the Bevel cloister of trials is the best one. Fair play. I trust you to that you're not that you're not trolling us. You genuinely believe that, but that's a hot take. Okay, you found some support from Rainbow Muffins, at least. But now all the Bevel Cloister fans are going to come out of the woodwork, even though we almost invariably always discuss the Bevel Cloister as being one of the most annoying. Now it's suddenly going to have a fan base, but I'm, I'm pretty confident if we put it to a vote, it's, it's going to be the least favorite. Okay. Now, also, was this the one where... Yeah, I think if you somehow make a mistake and you kind of just like, you take too wide a path and you step on this bit, then I guess you break it again. So it's another one that's uh, another reason why it's potentially a bit annoying. But we're through. Yeah, I've definitely done it before where I accidentally stepped on that, that platform thing. Okay. I'm gonna... It's interesting how balanced the agility is for everybody else. It's like 15 to 20 for the whole party, and then Tyler just randomly has 35. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. No I need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. I bet you do. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado. Before becoming a master. Yeah, I've accidentally reset it so many times using the fast forward function. You're yeah, the, us go. the times four is the most uh, problematic. Let you go. Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait, wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! Trommel's like, proper villain arc. Take care Look at that camera angle. Affair. Away. Away. Run. Legends. Okay. I love this like quick kind of Oh, Walker's such a bro the way he just shows up here for us. Really done in there. <laughs> Wanna buy something just in case. But he's still like there there's still money to be made here, so <laughs> he should give us a uh, and he's he's his prices are still quite high. I, I think combining an aspect of all the trials in the long mega trial would have been neat, but definitely would have messed up with the game. I think I, I like that idea as like an optional one. So like maybe to get like the strongest optional Aeon to, to have to do a, like a, a longer, more difficult, puzzly type of trial, I think would have been quite fun, actually. I like that idea. Again, remake. Maybe they can do something like that. I do wonder, like again in a remake, how much they would change the closer of trials. Make them like a whole completely different thing. Maybe put a boss battle at the end of each one, something like that. So yeah, I guess uh, Auron can just cast death again. <laughs> That's his thing now. That's why I wish he had more MP. We could really go to town with, uh, with it. But.
Uh, got quite a lot of... But yeah, that times 1.5 definitely helped us here. Just for kicks. Whenever I get a chance to do death and it works where it normally wouldn't... Oh, it missed! Wow, lucky boy. Got away with that. I don't know what the chances of it missing are. I don't know if it's like a 50 or something. Lame. And well, I only get one shot at it, so I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to give him an ether this time to, to get it again. So now, if we can't use death, what's our next trick? If we don't have shooting star, um, what's the best way to tackle this? Nab Gill worked quite nicely against uh, Seymour, actually. I think we can maybe one-hit KO with Flare, funnily enough. Yeah, we can. There it is. Yeah, Michaels is on the same wavelength. There you go. Someone add random music to the randomizer. <laughs> the music of this game is just so good that I wouldn't like it. It changed up. Why are we frozen now, though? Oof. I think I had that once or twice before where the screen goes blank for a long time and it worries me, but then it continues on. So we're only phase one. Wow. Fine. So we are heading towards the final encounter of this little boss rush. Right. There's some annoying customers here that, that Ty just can't take out in one turn. Hansus and Dad, thank you for joining us. Enjoy the VODs when it's time to watch them. Ah, it's not quite enough. Damn it. Mm, still just to make sure. Let's take this back. Imagine playing with the background music being the constant announcement from home. There you go. <laughs> I'm annoying, huh? We're not even that far away from it now. But I don't think there's any kind of quick way to do this, really. I'm going to use magic on the wolf again, just to see if I can take it out. Let's end this. I don't know if this magic defense is even higher than the eye. Okay, and now hopefully TKO comes in because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a grind here. Wait, did, did he have... he does have fire. Can't be doing that much surely, but better than 2-1-3. Yeah, I'm not going to use a flare for this one. I think it's a bit... whoops, that's a mistake. Attack only brain kicking in, but 140 damage. Remember, Lulu's quite strong in this, uh, in this randomizer. So it makes a difference. But yeah, I think for stuff like which bosses are immune to death, don't try to over-research it. I think it's just fun to find out in real time uh, what happens. So keep an element of mystery there. I think it's more fun than kind of just basically listing out every future boss that's immune to death. It's more fun to just give it a shot and see what happens. But yeah, these encounters are tough. Like, they're not quick at least. But that definitely helps. strength we've got now. 32. Yeah, that's basically around a thousand per hit against uh, low defense enemies. That's pretty nice. Okay. Accuracy, definitely. What is the accuracy stats like? Wow. These are pretty standard for those two. That's very low. Low. Yeah, still, Waka's the only one with any decent kind of accuracy. Titus is, I think, does a little bit better maybe on his normal grid. But his accuracy, just his physical attacking in general is, is pretty bad. But more HP for Yuna's definitely welcome, as is more agility.
So what kind of Final Fantasy X uh, memorabilia slash merch do people have? Um, anything in your collections? Over the years, I've definitely accumulated a fair few like trinkets and, and, and stuff from my favorite game. I try not to overdo it, but, you know, obviously I, I've definitely got some stuff. But I want to hear what you guys have. Foreign model, nice. A, re a metal replica of Brotherhood, about two and a half feet in length. Holy shit, <laughs> that's super cool. Uh, if you use social media, like, tag me and send a, a, a photo of it or something. I'm curious to see what that looks like. I'm still waiting for that Brotherhood lava lamp someday. If someone decides to, to make one. I brought the three Omega guides. I can't read Japanese yet. I have... Um, I have the Ultimania Omega and then the Battle Ultimania in Japanese. Um, but the, the Phone Translate app works really well nowadays. You just point your camera at stuff and it really translates well enough to give you an idea of, um, of what's being said. Like, I, I definitely used it a decent chunk. The Piggyback Guide. I don't have any, well, the Ultimania, I guess, counts as a guide, but I've never really used it as one. But I don't have any guides for the game. I'm going to still switch this back to... This. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, the Bahamut figure. The Bahamut figure looks very cool, I have to say. Um, I've got a small uh, Shiba figure, an Anima figure, and a Yojimbo figure. Maybe I'll add the Bahamut one too someday. <laughs> Anyone have a horned Yuna statue? <laughs> um, I think the odds of Titus hitting those guys is low. In a normal playthrough, I think by this stage, maybe like one every three hits or something, he'd, he'd manage to hit one, but I think that's not going to work. But I'm curious to read more of what people have, so I'm just... Um, gameplay might be a little bit slow as I, <laughs> as I check the chat here, because it's busy. Um, rule has nothing. That's a shame. But there's some really nice Final Fantasy stuff there, especially the, even like inexpensive stuff, just small stuff. There's still some bargains to be found if you want to have something like that. Official strategy guide. I have the Doremi piano book. 3D printed ties as necklace chain stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, the old figures, to be fair, they're, they're unfortunately not stuff that you can find for cheap because they're just they're just not made anymore. Soundtrack CDs, OST sound signed by Nobuo Uematsu. Now that's that's goals right there. That's epic. <laughs> My girlfriend and I went to Lulu body pillow. <laughs> I was waiting for something like that. Surprised it took this long to come up. <laughs> the unlicensed big rings. I think I saw something online recently about Square, Square Enix going after a, a company making like these kind of unlicensed um, like replica uh, like models slash, slash statues of stuff. I saw something like that. But I want to keep swapping um, Titus back in just in case. Things still look pedestrian, but if you get those flying enemies and it's an ambush and they confuse a couple of people, things can get hectic pretty quickly, so... And yes, of course, uh, the moderators have the, the Spirit Unplugged tee, as do I. I'll probably be wearing the, the Spirit Unplugged tee on, uh, on the pub quiz day.
but yes, they are definitely not for, for public sale. They're just for us to enjoy. So, now we have my friend Wendigo, who... I just remember him being susceptible to a lot of statuses. That was his weakness. Which one specifically, I don't remember anymore, but... Ooh, the sleep strike. I forgot when we even got that. Oh, shit. I think that one might be useful. Wow, he has no weapons. Okay. I think we will stick with something like this for now. And just see how we do. Alright, let's go for it. I think the sleep strike will prove to be pretty useful here. Am I going to be live for long? Um, I've got another hour or so. So, yeah. Kane, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Yes, it definitely has been better than uh, Guy Seric. Definitely has been better. That guy was horrible. Okay, here we go. Um... I think I'm gonna, now that I have haste, obviously you guys know haste is just so huge in this game that any time you get to make use of it, you yeah, probably should. So, one thing I was always curious, like, I'm trying to remember, I think these guys are susceptible to sleep, maybe? Let's see, because then you can just take them out normally without having to use death. Nah, they're, okay, fine. So much for that idea. What they're not immune to, apparently, is this. But it's missing more than I thought, which is a shame. And obviously, he only has one possible uh, use of it. So I don't want to use up too many ethers. But as you can see, we don't have a huge number of options here to take out the Guados. So I kind of need death to work. Emmy Maria, welcome to the stream. You're not, you're not too late. We still have uh, about an hour or so, maybe a little bit over an hour to go. Now, maybe I should remedy this guy get rid of this berserk because that's gonna hurt holy moly okay well I guess it hurt regardless even without berserk he hit like an absolute truck Sheesh. okay I mean he's attacking one character at a time so I think we'll be fine let's try putting him to sleep now managed to deal with that as well so we've had a pretty bad start There you go. This time that worked. That's much better. Okay. That's a start. Um, ah, we have, he has Sleep Buster too. Wow. So Sleep Strike on his weapon and Sleep Buster. There's no way he's not falling asleep here. Absolutely no way. And a critical. Beautiful. So. Hmm... Let's see. Is there anything else we can do other than death for this guy? Since Wendy's asleep, I don't think we're going to have too many issues here. And we can keep putting him back to sleep. And Demi works against him too. Very nice. What if you use Threaten? Does the counter still work? Maybe not Threaten. I think we had Provoke, didn't we? I think we can Provoke. I think that was the, that was a trick we could use. Let's see. Yeah. So, what now? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So, yeah. There's numerous tricks. Like, it's a mechanic that when you're first playing through the game, it's really infuriating. I definitely remember the first time I, I faced it. Like, face the Guado guards, I was very much like, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm trying everything. Why do these guys keep doing that? And I don't think I had any characters that could do over a thousand damage, so I couldn't even, like, chip away. Um, and so, yeah, like, it was really infuriating. And then, obviously, over time, once you learn what they're susceptible to, you literally have, like, three, four, five different methods of 
stopping them from doing that, basically. But yeah, the, the provoke wave is, is pretty cute. <laughs> right, I would say... That's it. We're done, right? It's worth a try. Uh, I was pretty sure that's one thing he's not uh, susceptible to. But we can just chip away here. Monid, welcome to the stream. Ah, it's nice to see a fan of the MGS content. That's one thing that I will be covering at launch, the MGS3 remake. It's literally my second favorite game of all time. And based on what I've seen so far, I have a feeling that they're not... Everything's going to look very much the same. It's going to be more like a Crisis Core and Crisis Core Reunion kind of thing. It's not going to be like a 7, seven remake type remake. That's the feeling that I get. And so I, I feel like I'm less likely to be disappointed with Kojima not being at the helm and any potential stuff they're doing as a result of that. So um, I'm, look, I'm definitely looking to play that one at launch uh, if I can. doesn't have a release date yet, but... I don't think anyone has Dispel yet, right? No. It's like a current gen reskin of the game. Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, I, it's a game that I, I played maybe like eight times, ten times over the years. Obviously, I've only played it once for the channel. But it's the kind of game that every one or two years I like to go back and play it again. I'm just, uh, I'm just a huge fan of it. Love the game. And so having another excuse to play it on the channel, I think my first playthrough of it was like, well, the playthrough I did on the channel was like 12 years ago, something like that. And so, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I'm not the kind of person that likes to play the same game twice as like a normal LP kind of format. Uh, but MGS3, I'm happy to just do like a normal like playthrough the same way that I did. 12 years ago, just play it again. So it doesn't have to be like a challenge run or something different. Just just play it. Because uh, I love the game. So I think that's how we'll, we'll tackle it. But like I say, I don't know the release date. We'll just have to see. But magic-wise, progress is a bit slow. I don't want to wake him up if I can. Just basically purely win with magic. This might be more MP efficient, honestly. Mm, maybe. See you later, Smiling Pup. Hope you enjoy the VODs. I'll, I will definitely upload them um, in the coming days once this is done. I'm already going to be committed to a no-kill run. Yeah, I think that's one thing I could definitely try and do. Um, I definitely have more fun with MGS in general when I try to be stealthy and use the, the kind of stamina kill methods as opposed to the more all-out ones. Casual, but on European Extreme difficulty. Honestly, I, if, I, I, like I said, I've maybe played it eight times, ten times over the years, but I wouldn't say I'm particularly great at the game. I think European Extreme, um, I last played it two years ago, I think. Maybe one and a half, two years ago. And I tend to play it on like relatively normal difficulty because I love the story. And I don't want to get too bogged down with like, you know, setting off alerts and having to fight bosses a lot. So uh, I'm not that great at the game. And so I don't think I'd, I'd play it European Extreme on the channel. I think that would probably be bad, but um, we'll see. But yeah, you can see if I have to rely mostly on magic for my damage, it, it takes a while. And I have no dispel, so I can't get rid of the shell either. So I'm going to wake him up here, I think. Just see what happens. He only hits one person at a time. But yeah, with that. Nice. Let me just see. These two already have haste. That's good. I think I'll just keep it like this. Okay. Let's wait. Yeah, sleep strike working pretty well in general go back to it again. Him having plenty of MP is helping here as well. We can basically just keep him asleep. He's not going to get a chance. Excellent. 
I think we'll have Yuna do the honors here. Can she do 26 damage with Protect? She definitely can. There we go. Is this the expert's figure? It's not. It's the, it's the normal one. 